like mouth. Are you going? Yeah. Yeah, I know, and I'm doing the intro. Sorry. Eli, can you have a quiet piss? Do it quietly. Very quietly. Hello, and welcome to Digitizer's Supernatural World. We're here at Vendelsham Forest, the site of Britain's most famous UFO sighting. And today we're going to go in search of alien life. Renaldson Forest is comprised of some 3,700 acres of mixed woodland in the county of Suffolk, England. The forest sits between the former RAF Woodbridge and RAF Bentwaters, which, during the Cold War years, had been occupied primarily by the United States Air Force. Around 0300 hours, on the morning of 26th of December 1980, a security patrol near the east gate of RAF Woodbridge saw lights descending into nearby Rendlesham Forest. The servicemen initially thought it was a downed aircraft, but according to a memo by Deputy Base Commander Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt, upon entering the forest to investigate, they saw what they described as a glowing object, metallic in appearance, with coloured lights. As they attempted to approach the unknown aircraft, it appeared to move through the trees, and it was later reported that the animals on a nearby farm went into a frenzy. <laughs> One of the servicemen, Sergeant Jim Penniston, described having at some point encountered a craft of unknown origin, standing upon three legs in a clearing. Here he claimed to have examined the craft for some 45 minutes. Two days later, in the early hours of the 28th of December, Holt led an investigation at the site, where he found evidence of the craft, including three indentations in the ground. Holt detected high radiation levels and recorded his investigation in real time as he saw a red, sun-like light moving through the trees, which broke into several small lights and remained visible for... What did, no, Tanya, what are you doing? No, you know, you know I'm recording. No, no, I said I was going to tell you when I finished. I've got, oh. I did it and I spilled water and I had to do it again. Well, the cat, look what the cats have done. I don't care what the cats have done. You can't do it again. Okay. Oops. Now I've knocked the bloody mic. Look, it doesn't matter. Just leave it at this. It's fine. It, they, they'll get the gist. Joining us on our UFO hunt today is one of Britain's foremost UFO and alien life experts, Mr... Messer Schmidt Appraisal. Pleased to meet you. Messer Schmidt Appraisal. Please call me Messi. And he's, apparently he's German. Um, do you, you have experience of, or are you just have an interest? I am life? one of Britain's foremost experts in the paranormal, the supernatural, and fruit gums. I've lived in this forest of Rendlesham for 27 years. In a house or just wild? Just wild. And have you seen uh, unidentified well, they call it they call it now unexplained aerial phenomena, don't they? UAP. Absolutely, yes. We like the old term of UFO mainly because that's what my tattoo says, and I can't get it changed. I'm a little bit nervous because he's buggered off, and I was wary of him jumping out and trying to scare us. Which There's is no aliens thing. in that direction. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'm not worried about him getting abducted. I'm worried about him startling me. There is a bear. Which he <laughs> Where? Oh. Yeah. We also have Eli here, who I haven't met before. And that's not, not, my, not my name either. No, okay, what's your name? My name is uh, Fifi Ovipositor. I've been abducted on a number of occasions. Were you probed? Um, they probed me about, uh, you know, Tudor history. So mm. it was more like a quiz? It was, over, it was a probe. I mean, it wasn't a Deep. quiz, it was hardcore. Deep. I had to do a lot of study. And they burnt me with their radiation guns, Deep. as you can see here. Thank you, I have some concealer. Well, it's too late now. It's too late now. You don't zoom in on it. He's got a rash. It's a, it doesn't radiation burn. I don't know why he's a radiation attention burn. Attention we need blaze. to see the radiation burn. I didn't. I didn't know something about the Tudors, and then. <laughs> oh, really? Because yeah. yeah. they're, they're yeah, big like on that. Tudor life. The aliens. They love it. I've seen photographs they showed me of their home world, and it's very sued Tudor. Pseudo Tudor. Pseudo Tudor. Pseudo -tudor. Pseudo -tudor. They're very interested in the hats. They like the hats. Tudor hats. And Tudor hats. Conical Particular interest. Yes. We have one more guest as well joining us today. And this is, tell me your name, please. Hello, I'm Devon Mucus. Devon. <laughs> and and what? I'm here to complete the last badge on my Duke of Edinburgh scheme. Right, which is quite bad because 
he's, he's now dead, but I'm hoping we can find some kind of alien technology to resurrect the Duke. So I, I think this is only right, fine. This is just what technology. the discovery could happen. Wants. It could happen. You think this is? I don't think that. This is like a primitive uh, Stargate. I don't. Ancient I Stargate. I, I don't wish to correct you, but I will, and very rudely. This is actually a limbo Stargate. gate. Most of the aliens that came here, very tall, very bad backs, couldn't get past it. What happens if you get under it successfully? Uh, nobody's ever succeeded in it. So this Not is your, it. you've set this up to prevent aliens from coming Just and disturbing you. That's absolutely sleep. right. Also here, waving his thing around, is, is, do you want to come up with a stupid name or just say you are? I don't want to be in this video because I don't believe in aliens and I find this whole thing an offensive okay, farce. Okay, you're the skeptic. <laughs> you're the No the pictures. Skeptic. I won't be seen. No, the government... Don't be an arse. Take it seriously, Paul. Who is this guy? I've never seen him and I'm a survivor and he's insulting me. You and are... I'm Fifi Ozzy but Ovid Fossiter. I don't even remember your own name. Right, I think we should, <laughs> let's go and... Should we do Wait, this again? We're, we're going to... I don't want just the whole thing again. No, <laughs> I've got... The whole thing no, again. we're taking this here. I laminated all my facts. I laminated the facts. What's my job here today? You're sceptic. In that case, this is... I'm a believer. And then I saw her face. No. <laughs> your little fact sheet. Your yeah, I have. I've got my laminated fact sheets. All right. It's What's raining, so I'm not, at least my facts aren't going to get blurred, are they? I've also got here a, 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 an FM radio thing. There you go. And I'm going to try and detect for any alien signals that may still be here. Because there is a belief that there are tunnels beneath Rendlesham Forest. I mean, if we go further up here, we may see the hatches. This is one of the, the theories that when the base was closed down, they went beneath the ground. I did put my foot in a hole and it was damp. Well, yeah, that well, helps. But, but was it like a, a mole hole or was it a, a deep? I deep believe hole? it was a hole a man had done to do a poo. <laughs> oh, I see. Did you thread <laughs> on anything? Yes. <laughs> if the shoe had to be destroyed. You, well, mm, was it a, a, a human poo? Like a sloth. A sloth? It's very difficult what? to tell, isn't it? Ow. This is RAF Woodbridge here. Yeah, it is now. Up here, Sanya. RAF Woodbridge is here on our right. My right. Mm. The, these gentlemen, I can't remember your names. Left. Fifi, just call me Fifi, okay? Well, okay but Why still... is he called Fifi now? He was Fifi Overpositor. Is that your... Yeah, of course you this, came up with that. This gentleman here is Mesha Schmidt something. That one Red there is, is, <laughs> is... I can't even remember. You can live Why Focus. It's very I easy. Know, they all so it just started that way. And you let, you let them come off. Mesha Schmidt okay, just said Devin Focus and Fifi Overpositor. Fifi love egg sex toy lady. No, it's I'm... not a sex toy. That's what you were talking about. You wouldn't stop talking about these sex toys, right, that you get. They're like dildos and you fill them with plastic Okay, this is not what we're here for. What's the of them? No, well, he skates that. Part of the romantic I'm ready. Right, I'm, I'm going. I'm looking for answers. I need to be abused, so I'm Thank looking for... I'm... Okay. <laughs> Kenya, don't film them talking about <laughs> overpositors. <laughs> Why would they ask you questions about Chile history? Well, it was it was more of a t I, I, it was more of a test to test. see if I could it, to see if I knew enough about Tudor history to um, qualify for their higher level abductee scheme. What? So they have like a certification? Yes. Uh, the anal probing only goes on at the top level. to the gate, the actual fancy military gate. Looks like there's a giant ant hill there or something. This is the east gate. Uh, Mesha Sch Schmidt, have you been here before? Yeah. Yes, this, this absolutely. Was, this I was lived by this gate for three months. By the gate? Yes. You were never moved Just on. to the left? No, they can't see you there because of the ferns. Oh, you're in the ferns? Yes, absolutely. So this is this was where in uh, the early hours of Boxing Day, 1980, that what's his name, Paul Peniston? Which one? Well, the fellas that saw well, there it. There were two nights. Different things happened. Yeah, on I know nights. that. I haven't got to the other nights yet. Yeah, yeah it was Peniston and I think Burroughs. I do remember Peniston. Peniston. Oh well, yeah, we all we all remember him. I great man. It is half. Shut good up, to Paul. Me right in front time. of my face. Sergeant, one of the servicemen, Sergeant Jim Peniston, later claimed to have encountered a craft of unknown origin when he went into the forest mm. to investigate the lights. Is that from the News of the World that article? No. The Sun. Wikipedia. That news page. That that, that page is yes. Is from, a... Yeah, which is mostly fake. Mm. No, it's not. Yes, have it you is. heard of the Rendlesham Code? No. If you take. All the official documents released, take all the words, put them in alphabetical order, oh. take some of the words away, 
add some other words, it makes no sense. Well, that, that really makes you think. No one's taking this seriously. I want this to be a really good documentary. No one's taking it seriously. Not you're, you're not, you're not. Do I still get paid? No, Eli's the only one who's, are you like Will? What do you mean getting paid? I've never heard about this paid But business. okay, but covering the car parking. Oh right, okay, that's fine. But I live here. Okay, right. yes, you live here. Let's go and look at the east gate, we'll see east what gate. we can find. I need to capture the parkour, which technically is not parkour, no, but... Why are you filming them up a tree? Sanya! It's good, it's good acrobatics. No, it's not what the documentary's about. It's we need tree climbing We need to see some skill. No, we're, no, <laughs> we're at the east gate and I need to talk about it. Yeah, but it's Sorry, more... Come down. It we're takes... Down a, it's, not, it's really impressive, though. It's not a monkey man documentary. <laughs> I like being up a tree and my name is Fifi. Okay, right, look, go. if you don't give him attention, he won't climb trees. Yeah, but so. I like it when he climbs trees. Okay, well, look at the east gate, please. Cool jump. That's 50 well, points for that jump. Because yes. this is where it happened. On the gate. No, it didn't happen at the gate. Oh, I'm on the phone. This is where it began. Is that the Isn't it? there where the aliens live? No. Okay, this is the yeah, east gate it. of RAF Woodbridge. <laughs> this, this is the former, former US base, air base. This hut, this cape wasn't actually here originally. It's now owned by the uh, US or British Army. Uh, that hut was the, the only entrance, and that's from there that they saw the lights descend over in that direction. Presumably, it was a light from a lighthouse. No, this no. Light. This is this is this is what one of the this is what the skeptics believe. Okay. But when you actually listen to the eyewitness, I should take these off. It's not for sun here. Uh, and you look like, I don't know, a serial killer as well when you got the shades you, on. You look like a serial killer all the time. Yeah. Well, and you look like a serial killer. This is what you look like, that. Either a serial killer or a fucking Well, you look like Captain Tramp the Bin Man. Better. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's better than either of the things he said. Well, well, that right. is better. <laughs> um, yeah, the, if you listen to the, the actual eyewitness reports, yes. what they saw could not be lights from the lighthouse. Mm. The orphan nest lighthouse. That was, that was the cover up. Okay. Because uh, it was it had the red lights and it set off the animals screaming. The lights shot across the sky. And then, of course, several servicemen trekked into the woods and actually encountered the ship itself. Their second night during a Christmas party. Yes, it was When they were mostly said, drunk. Said it was, it's back. It's yeah, back. It's, it's back. Like, it's came back the second night. Like Terminator. Yeah, and the, the ship, which landed on a tripod, had uh, hieroglyphics on the side. That's on the first night. Right. There was a photograph of a creature taken by the serviceman, which has never been released to the public. Oh, nope. I don't have a photo of it. Can we get a close up of this, please? This is an exclusive. That's not. That's what not. is this creature? Is that James Khan? <laughs> he is known as. Is that James Khan? Nobody knows. It's a creature we refer to as. Think. <laughs> and that is all we know of him. No one's taking this seriously. I don't want to unduly but, worry everyone, but have you noticed we're being dive bombed by Swifts? Who's this going to help you with the DV? I don't, it's not, I don't know. It's not, you're not doing a DV. How are you finding your uh, ex no, it's awful. explorations? It's an awful way. Why like, is everyone's messing about? No one's taking it seriously. I think if they see some aliens, they'll take it seriously. Right, it's yeah, just I they know. need proof. Well, we'll That's all. Do. What have you got there? So these, this was the Orphan Nest Lighthouse that the cover-up reported was, was what the, the servicemen saw. Right. This was actually demolished last year, otherwise you would have gone and seen it. Now these are some images of, of what the uh, what the eyewitnesses believe they saw. A sort of triangular shaped ship, red and orange lights at the top. Triangular shaped ship? Yeah, yeah triangular shaped ship. 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 Where we're going to go next is, is the, the, the reported landing site Ooh. of the ship itself. The triangular shaped ship. Yeah, the triangular shaped ship. <laughs> There's some other mysteries in the area that, that are shut up that I'm very interested to 
to investigate, which I believe might have links. Are they still alien mysteries? Well, no, not exactly, but they date back a long time. And if you remember the tunnels that I mentioned, remember the underground tunnels? No. Oh, well, you and I thought about tunnels. I don't know. Oh, there's a little house over there. How exciting. <gasps> Maybe this is the house where Mesher Schmidt Correct. lived. Yes, this is one of my many houses. Okay, so yes. this, is one of, this is. I'll show you why I had to leave. Oh, I'm oh. investigating a little tiny house on the UFO wall. Oh, why did we not believe? Well, I think it might be a fairy house. Oh no, it won't. It's massive. Can you get in there? No. Paul, that's not going to work. You need to have the lens in there. I know, but Just shining the light in. Undo one of those lights, I'll hold it. Uh, yeah, you hold the light. Here we go. Can you? Do you want to get in there and see what they're doing? Yes, please. No. Anything for my badges? Go on. Get in there. Look, stuff's happening. Is it alien? No, I don't know. What's in there? I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this off the top so I can get it in. What, you don't want to drop this over the other huh? Don't drop it. <sighs> right, here we go. I'm scared. Uh, what is there you describe? <gasps> is that a hatch? It's a hatch on the floor. It's a hatch on the floor. What did I tell you? I told you. I never could open that hatch. Yeah, it's in Mr. It? Schmidt couldn't open the hatch. No, nope, I have no idea what's under I there. I bloody told you there was hatches. Is that is that um, alien hieroglyphics on the wall? No, I think no, it's no, that, that was my first shark. novel. It did not do well. <laughs> Mainly because I didn't print it on paper. I had to have people come in and read it and they hated it. <laughs> I lived That's here for a year, yeah, then I came back an average human and they padlocked it. <laughs> Do you hear that? No, they yeah. locked you out of your own and home. Locked out, and all my beanie babies were gone. No. Down the hatch. How many, how many did you lose? <laughs> 37. <laughs> it's funny he says that because that is what they, the greys said to me. Their main interest, two main interests, Tudor history and beanie babies. I fucking I don't, knew it. I don't think, I don't think this is what I wanted from this. <laughs> Well, mm. I mean, it's the aliens you know. who choose. No, it's not. Two okay, fine. After they took my beanie babies, they brought out an alien oh, no. beanie baby. Tell me that's a coincidence. Oh, oh, you're pushing me over. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get to a happy toy. Help, I'm, I'm all happy caught little in little vines. Toy. I'm oh, going to fall. Oh, it's later. I saw a ghost. <gasps> what? Did you bring your PK meter? Yes! Let's go ghost hunting everyone. It's what the cool kids do. No yeah. one wants aliens. Let's Come do on. it. Let's have a look. Let's see if this goes off. I knew this place was haunted. Do you know what? I'd like to find some supernatural beings as well. Oh, just like fairies and elves and stuff. But my point is... <gasps> it's green. Wait, is it meant to be green or red? Yeah, no, it's meant to be green. So there's nothing <sighs> going on in here. There's no ghosts. They tricked us. They tricked us. But we still might find supernatural activity. Fingers crossed. Yes. We can only hope because, you know, we're not going to see aliens we with are UFOs, see, are we? We today? are going to see so, aliens. So if we can we get all that, we are we'll just have a bit of fun. No, we're not going to see We've got to communicate with them. We've got I more have... chance of communicating with the dead than we are with no, interplanetary no, species. We don't. Where does that, where's that even come from? It comes from fact. More people have seen ghosts than aliens. Well, they're idiots. They're deluded idiots. No. You, you, were, you were looking for ghosts a few episodes in, in, ago. In, in, We've changed it now. This is the new pilot. Why is aliens more popular than ghosts when ghosts are like all over the internet? Popular. Aliens, look, it's in an ghosts, in aliens, an infinite Bigfoot. universe, in an infinite universe, Paul, there's more likely to be ghosts than no nah. aliens. So he admits it. The man admits it. Aliens. Ah, alien ghosts. There's going to be ghosts of aliens as well, isn't there? No, because yeah. ghosts, think, aren't, think ghosts are it. literally not real. All right, okay, but here's the thing there's, we've got ghosts here, but we don't have ghosts. We can't get aliens willy-nilly well maybe we can well i don't think maybe we, go. we will see an alien well we might see an alien but i doubt it because aliens are not going to come all the way just to appear on digitizers my point so, is what's what this vehicle supernatural world still or yes it is the hatches might be the key supernatural world brackets mainly ufo now. all right okay so then it's more the, kind of uh no paranormal world Digi digitizers, paranormal, extraterrestrial well, that's adventure. Like, whatever you call it doesn't matter today digitizers is, extraterrestrial adventure there's ufos today well, um, I just don't find UFOs point, sexy. Bifo, my point is, hatches, they're, they're underground. They're here. They're still here. Yeah. Bifo. What? I mean, they might. the hatch might be to keep the alien ghosts 
Yes. No, these are ghost hatches totems. do not trap ghosts. They, you don't know that. They, they could be walls. like of a special metal be, material. Yeah. Okay, I'm. Hey. Did Ready I just finished? say I've seen a ghost? Yeah, it's just a walk at all, isn't it? I'm pretty sure the lady I'm said standing. I've just seen a ghost. Let's see, it's picking up all that. Ghost? It said ghost it said be ghost. here. No, it's get, just getting radio stations. It said ghost be it here. It said ghost be here. That's an alien. Alien Atkinson. One more time, ghosts. Just getting radio. Yeah, stuff. it's all it is. It's a radio. I paid 30 max. quid for that. Yeah, I don't know why. It's a walkie-talkie with a radio in. you got a phone that does that. No, I don't. So most of Rendlesham Forest blew down in the great storm of 1987. This was all trees back then. However, they never grew back. They were planted here, but they never regrew. So was that, is that radiation? Something else to do with aliens? Duke of Edinburgh boy. Do you have a theory as to why the trees never grew back? Yes. I think it's because of not what you said. Okay. It's a complete waste of time. Waste of time. What's this? What's this? Look, there's something in here. Look at that. What's that? What are you looking for? I just found something. What? That's exactly the beanie bag. They used those on the spaceship when I was abducted. And that's what they burnt my face with. I don't like it. I don't like it. Wow. Look at that. That was just in the ferns. Organite. Yeah. See? Now do you believe? Well, no. Well, I found that in the ferns. No, you didn't. It was it just in there. Measure Schmidt. I mean, it, I can feel it as like a. I've seen one of these before. A, a stupid resin pyramid. It's not resin. That's not resin. That's not wow. resin. It's probably. Touch resin. it against what your chest. What does Mr. Mucus mean? Hands. It'll burn. Well, I'm touching. Is that mucus? Is that your namesake? Mu is that alien flob? Who are you asking? Who are you asking? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It does look like snot, so maybe. Yeah, it does look like some eggs. Could be eggs in there. It's fucking Many eggs. years ago, yeah. I was woken in the middle of the night by a man. He was standing over me as I woke, and several small beads of that dropped out of his nose like and that. dried exactly like that. I have a photo of this they man. They dried on you? Did they drop onto you? It was this man. Okay, yeah. no, that's, a, that's <laughs> Graham Sunus. It's not Graham Sunus. It's Ian Rush. I mean, it's not Ian Rush. No, no it's, it's, uh, it's an unknown man. I only know two footballers, but, and they're both Graham Sunus. <laughs> have you heard you drink Rush. milk right that's now? That's Ian Rush. You're Ian yeah. Rush. But Ian if you Rush don't, you'll only be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. I can't believe you've no, come on with photos of, of, of bloody footballers and people. So was he only on a footballer? Just planted a, 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 an no. awful pyramid no. in the fur. I didn't plant it. I found no, it. That is a that is a neck probe. Do you, That's a neck do you burning. Do you find it a bit weird that since he's picked it up, it started raining? Yes. It can't be. A There's going to be all sorts I'm, of synchronicities from reality control, mate. I'm I'm putting that. I'm yeah. putting that in my evidence bag. I'd just like to also highlight that Mr. Schwitt said exactly, and today's Ash oh, National Egg Day, so. Is it actually National Egg Day? Yeah. Yes. That's why we've been talking about eggs all day. Apparently. Yes, yes. The whole You're fucking with me. The whole car journey we've been talking about Honestly, eggs. Paul, the synchronicity is going to ruin the derail us because the synchronicities are happening. Is it actually National Egg Day? Yeah, don't check it. Well, and it's the longest day of the year. So don't solstice. Check it. You don't need to check solstice, it. Just believe egg us. Day. No, that's true. We've it's been talking about eggs. eggs. I just found a pyramid with eggs in. Your and we've been talking... Your name is Ovid Positor. Your name is Ovid Positor. And we've been talking about eggs the whole car journey here. I think there's sex something eggs. in this. It's... Mm. Yeah, all right, sex eggs. Sex eggs. I think uh, we should no, all be very careful. We were talking from about, here on out. We were talking about um, chicken eggs as well. Yes. Remember the, the cooking of the eggs? Yeah, I know. What is this? That's, think. This. That's all I know about it. This is not normal. I've never seen that in a forest before. You've never seen a brown puddle in a forest before? No, not, not with that brown puddle. stuff on top. What do you make of that? This is a bad sign, a bad sign. Yeah. 
I think it's alien eggs. Oh, the shape looks like an alien egg. A whale, alien egg. Maybe the aliens are like whale creatures. Another one. I found another, I found another one on the floor. This is a very bad omen. You should never see more than one of yeah, them together. Yeah, there's multiples. Mm, don't let it touch the other one. No, I'll put it. I'll put it in on the other side of my bag. Mm. Why are you turning this into the crystal maze where you just pick things up that look shiny and then put it in your bag? They're not any old thing, are they, Paul? Look at that. I've look seen it. that. It's the same one that you put up the, in the field before. No, it's different ones. Is it? Well, well then show me both things. The other one was show over me, there. This one was Eli saw this show one. Me I saw that one. And then Messerschmitt saw it. Show me, yeah. show me yeah. the other one then so I can see both no, of them together. No, because I can't too get them much out. power. Yeah, Maybe they can resonate. They will burn everyone's nest. You just keep them all in your bag. Yes. There'll be too much resonance. What's an alien got to do with some bullshit pictures of pyramids? Alien eggs. 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 Who built the pyramids in ancient Egypt? He built the pyramids. Lots of He's slaves. Too small. He's too small. Lots of slaves did it with lots of big whips. That's he how had slaves. You're, you are a despicable yeah, you're gentleman. Saying that's all right. Actually, despicable. It was you're... Tudor architects brought back in time. So that makes. Have you ever sense. noticed on Tudor houses, right. triangular you know shape? Actually, no, actually, I feel quite afraid right now. I'm going to walk away. This. Thank God for that. This is yeah. cult speak. This is like. Tudor alien, yeah, you wait. Just this one shot alone makes it look like you're the last of the summer alien hunters. I've got my binoculars. What did you see? It's a creepy figure. Creepy figure. What? What have you seen? There's a figure. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is that? Tanya, there's a creepy figure. I think it's a tree. Don't go, don't, don't go. I've got my binoculars. I think it's a tree. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a mysterious figure. Yeah, it's a myster uh, mysterious figure. Oh my goodness. We found another hatch. Hatch. Second hatch. Say, Paul, you wake the man. I want to be a bad man. Say, Paul, do you, you believe me now? Do you believe me that there's hatches? I told you. Well, yes. For years, you, I thought you were skeptical about the hatches. No. Why would it be I'm that colour? Skeptical color? about you. Why would it be that colour? So you don't trip over it when you're out in the woods. But, then but it's not on the path, path is it, man? No, it's off the path, man. Right. Yeah. Why would you be going through there? Maybe it wrote the theme tune for the Generation Game. It's yeah. Tony Hatch. <laughs> 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 What are you doing with your thing on the hat? So I'm sorry. I'm checking it for... I'm checking it for ghost signals. Yeah. I'm beginning to suspect it may be an alien plant. Well, like he has a, a picture. Like an hibiscus. Yes, exactly that. Or a trifod. Look at his arm. He has a picture of the man who woke me. He's uh, taunting me. Thing is, I don't really know what to do with this, Stuart, because he's... On the one hand, on the one hand, I want to sell this as a pilot. On the other hand, I'm not sure people are going to buy that. Nobody remembers him. Have Ooh, you seen I'm his arm? Spooky hat, Can you film Paul's arm, please? Hat. Ooh, I'm on the spooky okay, hat. Okay, oh, Paul, turn around, please. Show, show us how you your arm. What, my arm? Yeah, you're Graham Soonis or whoever he is. I am on no, the spooky hat. No, no, arm! Arm! Show us how your arm. This arm. <laughs> All right, <no>. See? <gasps> Okay. Oh, it does. It does. He does. Why have you put that on you, oh, Paul? It's what? him. It's, it's actually Mark. him. Hey, look, I'm glad that everyone's getting into this, but I'm also a little bit perturbed if it's got a bit silly. <laughs> <laughs> I am on the spooky hatch, spooky hatch, spooky Let's get to the UFO. Maybe they'll get more serious when they see the actual evidence. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Are you an alien? Hello? 
Oh, you're lovely. You're lovely. He's a large monster lander. We're looking for UFOs. Oh, are you? Oh, properly, I see. <laughs> no. Nope. It's gone sandy. Do you think that means something? I don't. What do, you, what do you know of extraterrestrial life? I, I don't know much, to be honest, but I started this thing off kind of a bit sceptical, but it's just, just all the stuff with the pyramids and everything, it's just really weird. It's weird, isn't it? It's like raining up there, now it's sandy. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, what do you think? What do you think? I think it's true. You think it's... Who, who built the pyramids? Who gave us all our technology? so quickly did you see the massive leaps we did in progress in last century that can't be from humans we're not smart enough i'm inclined to agree with you now to be honest this is kind of changing my whole perspective yeah everything really i, I mean what for them what them why why are they why would they come and just go you know why would they not exactly. stay here that's what i want to know but what, what, what if, is it? What, what if, though, the hatches and the tunnels are part of that why? They could be the answer to that why. What do you think they're underneath us right now? Sand. Sand. We have just spotted something. Oh, I'm so puffed out, but oh my goodness. <laughs> this UFO, anywhere near this UFO, that's going to be proof. Enya's an alien. Definitely. You know she lives in a funny castle and won't let anyone in. Why? Because she saw something here her own alien reflection and maybe this as well because that was there oh there's markings on the side there's a marking here and a marking here i mean i presume their markings based off the drawings peniston made in his notebook did you know that peniston at, around this time randomly wrote a load of her uh, binary like a uh, zero one zero zero one. Like one, it was one, one, been one, one. channeling through him, and it was like twelve pages long. And then when they finally uh, looked into it, it was places around the world of UFO sites. So like a temple in Inca, an Irish place that was like an Irish Atlantis. All these kind Why of things. You, I thought you were the skeptic, though. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just telling you the story. I'm not saying there's a fact behind it. No suspicious amount for a skeptic. Yeah. Well, because I do my research, and if you don't do your research, then it's just all fivvly flovelly bobbly. Research and there's knowing every single thing about it. Well, there's research and being a genius. Well, there's research. Well, I am a genius. <laughs> there's research and there's having the given name mucus. I think that's more impressive. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you Fuck me. So this is the clearing where the US serviceman actually had an encounter uh, with the UFO, which had landed on a tripod. As they apparently approached the clearing... Um, How does it land on a tripod? Three legs. Is same, it, same does as it a tripod? Well, well, that's really not. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Why, why do you even ask that? How does a tripod? Why are you not talking to me? I can't imagine it. Well, just the three legs. Oh, it was part of the spaceship. Yeah, legs. Legs. And like a tripod. Oh. Not. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter though. 
No life? They, they no describe, life forms? No life forms. They describe the craft as having, uh, as being black with um, the hieroglyphics or markings on them. I am just seeing if there is anything happening in this area. So I scan. I'm also scanning. Oh, what's that? Oh no, that's, 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 a, that's Radio One or something. No, it's right. Nice music. No. no ghosts. No ghosts here. Maybe it's too radioactive for ghosts. Yeah, no, I don't think ghosts are going to want to listen to like magic hits. No. no okay. Also, shouldn't it randomly do it itself so you wouldn't have to touch I'm it? I'm doing it. Yeah, but then you're just picking radio well, stations. I did the... Com the well, now that's jazz. It There's, could be. The, 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 hey, the instructions were really confusing. What, what's it meant to do? It could the be like a um, walkie-talkie, so it, it can scan for signals. Yeah, like, but what are you saying? I don't know how for? to do it. Well, then you should have read the instructions. I did. Then, well, no, you bloody didn't because you're looking one, at Radio One. I saw online how could, that someone else complained. The instructions are really confusing. Was this it another was bloody cheap. idiot who doesn't know how to use stuff? What are you even looking for? Noise wise. Signals. What if it's um? Signal sound like. It's not going to sound like bloody Enya, is it? Wait, what if it's like that that oh, no. movie? What if it's like that movie where the aliens like um, oh. they liked they liked well no they liked um, Earth t television and movies. No, so what if it's these scores. aliens like? Oh yeah, maybe it's like batteries not included. Yeah, what if these well, aliens like the Radio One and really and, 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 what, and Earth music? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do some scanning over so here. what? For right, alien signals. You have a good time looking for alien signals. You're not going to find any. Aliens aren't going to come back here because there's no significance anyway. Under the, the army ground. bases, are, but, no uh, army. yeah, but the Orford Ness, where the lighthouse was. Orford Ness. Orford Ness. You can rock it, you can knock it, you can go to Timbuktu, but you'll never find Orford Ness in the zoo. Orford Ness, which is where the lighthouse was, that yeah. the cover-up said was what they saw. Yeah. Is, was next to the Atomic Re Weapons Research Establishment. Right, but that's not here no more, is it? No, that's my point. It's not gone down, stop pointing down there every time your argument Underground. stops. Underground. Give me a piece of solid evidence right now that aliens will return. But we don't know. I, I, if, look, listen. Go on. Hello, I'm an alien. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you, everyone heard that, didn't they? There what was, is it? Oh, is, is it the sound of my interest in this dying? Because it was I'm loud. I'm don't move your mouth, don't move your mouth. Well, maybe I shouldn't be in fucking shot then. I, I, I was going to do it over doing, there. I do noises. noises, I do good right, radio do, noises. Okay. Let's do him do noises. Right. I'm scanning here. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear that? It sounds like Bob from that Channel 4. Why am I doing it even with you? Oh, yeah, no, you asked me over. No, now you're just calling for birds. As uh, dictated by Pedersen in his book, when he saw, mm. when he touched the. the, the oh, you're the experiment. expert now. Fine, fine. Yeah, I am. I do the research. That's really nice. I've done the. Re I've got laminated bits. Let's see. Let's, let's see some lamination. I bet you don't know about about um, the 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 shug monkey. The shug monkey. Yeah. Go do on, you know man. about that? No, I like to learn. Tell me all about the fucking shug monkey. There's there's other things that happened in this area, yeah. including the shug monkey. Right. So is that a 90s indie band that I don't know of? Right, in 1956, yeah. Sam Holland was taking a bracing January walk in Rendlesham Forest. 86? No, 56. 56. Pay attention. Okay. Pay attention, man. And there in a thicket of trees was a beast that he had never a seen. A thicket? Yes. Of trees? Of trees. Don't do, so don't do this. Don't start this, you he went 56. He, he saw Wilson Pickett by the trees. <laughs> it was doing? a kind of bizarre British Bigfoot, yeah. walking on four muscular legs, like a lion's legs, covered in thick... He's lying on someone's legs. Thick, uh, ca ca glossy black fur. Thick carrots fur. It's easily <laughs> ten foot in legs, Paul. Whoa. Cheesy ten foot. <laughs> and he struggled what it could be. And it, and it, he struggled with a cheesy ten foot and he didn't know became what Became known as the Shug Monkey. Yeah, I bet he did. Do they provide an image of a Shug Monkey? Yes. Let's see. That. Oh. What is it? 
Looks like a cheaper car, bro. I got that off of I got that off of Deviant Art. This is <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a monkey. Kind of... It's a shug monkey, right? But there's more. Right, mm. you remember I talked about the underground tunnels? Yeah. Well, get this. In the 12th century, yeah, two children with green skin, Ooh. green skin, a appeared in the village of Woolpit near Bury St Edmunds. Right, they said they, they were their brother and sister. They spoke an odd language, but get this, they only ate beans. This is this is true. Ooh. Is it Venus's parents? No, it's not Venus. Well, not in the 12th century. Yeah, but who knows how old Venus is? But about 50. Only when they were introduced to other other foods did their green skin change to a normal colour. But the boy grew ill and died, but the girl survived and learned English. And then she revealed that they came from a land called St Martin's Land that was underground. But she could only communicate is that, that where once. The, sh the sugar monkey comes from. Well, this is Perhaps. what I'm saying. We know there are hatches. Before the boy died, an image was taken of his face. You know about death. Oh, really? Oh, yes. yes. The green child of Wolfit, yes. <laughs> what does that look like? He's got the green child of... Oh! oh. It's, uh, it's oh, awesome. Again. You it's may like need I'm... to blank that out for your viewers yeah, at home. Yeah, it's it a bit too shocking, that is. Does anyone know, there was a sci-fi film, I think it was in the 80s, and they built something like this. There was a UFO, but it was like all organic. There wasn't an actual... Was it Night of the Comet? I'm not, I'm not in character saying this. I'm saying, does anyone remember this film? Where they built a fake UFO, but... To cover up a real UFO. Yeah. That sounds a bit... Yeah, it was like that, but it was like Night of the Comet. They built a real cheesy, fake um, sauce. Oh, that's why it's good. All of his stuff's good. Oh, well, that was his canon era, so it's a bit there. Yeah. It's all good. Didn't he do Night of the Comet? No. No. He did invasion invaders from Mars, invaders from Mars, and Life Force, and Life oh, Force. Oh, that was super. Yes, yeah. as part of his two deal with Life Cannon, and then he got yeah. to do Texas. I need to see Life Force. Too. I've never seen I've it. I've never seen it. We talked about this the other week. Um, the problem with um, oh, everyone. Oh, right. <laughs> He's fucking choking to death. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Look, everybody! So, just for the image, you know, because right now we're looking at this strange blue fog and an alien's going on. What's going on? I think he's trying to speak to us. What is that? Stay back. <laughs> Although somebody may need to read its tag to know if it's genuine. <laughs> Smoke got trapped in the moth! <laughs> But unfortunately, it wasn't very impressive. Did you catch over the that? Time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh shit! <laughs>